and welcome again to the Writer Review. This is Eric Kirat Writer, and this week we're going to be taking a look back at the 1990 French for French film titled La Femme Nikita, or simply known as Nikita. Now, this movie is an action thriller which runs for an hour and 57 minutes long. It was written and directed by Luc Besson. It was produced by Patrice Ledoux, Luc Bisson, Claude Bisson, Vittorio Cecigori, and Mari Mario Cecigori. The score was done by Eric Serra. The cinematography was done, by, was done by Thierry Arboga. And it was edited by Olivier Moffroy. And it stars Anne Parillo, Cecchi Cario, uh, Jean Hughes, Anglade, Jean Renault, and Janine Moreau. In the 1990s, uh, ni director Luc Besson was on a tear in his native France as he paved the way with four very successful commercial films that year, which included the iconic Leon the Professional, The Fifth Element, Joan of Arc, and this one, the one that started it all, La Femme Nikita. Even though Leon the Professional is the best of the foursome, they're all very worthy in terms of quality. In the case of La Femme Nikita, we need to realize that even though many of the situations are deemed implausible and to just sit back and enjoy some jaw-dropping action, this will definitely likely leave you in shock until the final credits roll. Anne Parallel stars as Nikita, a rebellious, drug-addicted 20-year-old who hangs around with the wrong crowd. One night, these miscreants decide to rob a pharmacy in which one of the members' father who happens to own the store. When the owner arrives on the scene with a gun and notices his son and his friends stealing items in the store, things start to get real ugly. The father is eventually shot to death and the police arrive on the scene where a standoff takes form. The gang is all shot dead with the exception of Nikita who surprisingly blows away a cop who is trying to revive her. Nikita is now incarcerated for life. While serving her time Nikita is manipulated by her captors that she was contemplating suicide by a tranquilizer overdose. So when she awakens, she is greeted by a sharp-clad man named Bob, played by Checky Cario, and offers her an ultimatum that she is taken under the care of the DSGE. She can either be an assassin or go by way of row 8, plot 30, in other words, her grave. She chooses to become an assassin and has excelled in the craft quite impressively. She even becomes computer savvy, skilled in martial arts and weaponry, and even appears to be quite a businesswoman like in terms of appearance. After fulfilling her first missions, she is transferred to Paris as an enforcer, so when the DSGE needs her, she must respond. While in Paris, she meets a cashier by the name of Marco, played by Jean Hughes Anglade, and they start a relationship, and she starts a relationship with him, oblivious, while he's oblivious to what her profession is. Marco is puzzled as to why she has no family, no friends or any kind of connection whatsoever. Bob gets invited to dinner and poses as her uncle Bob and offers them two tickets to Venice, Italy as an engagement gift only to realize that it wasn't actually really an engagement gift but she is actually on a secret mission and she must keep quiet towards her new boyfriend Marco and of course eventually they become 
fiancés. But the trip and the moment of happiness comes to an end when Nikita receives a call about going on a mission with a sniper rifle in the bathroom. There she kills a woman which eventually leaves her in a state of distraught. The film kind of ends when someone who goes by the name of The Cleaner, played by Jean Reno, who was sent to destroy all the evidence, which at cost leaves him wounded by the embassy guards and gets killed while trying to escape from them. Marco eventually knows about her secret life and that draws concerns over her psychological scars and he decides that what's best for her is to vanish forever. Feeling that she abandoned the DSGE, Bob and Marco discuss what's in store for her and they agree to just let her go. With the exception kind of towards the rushed conclusion, this is an otherwise exciting start to the expectations of Bezos' other commercial films, especially the 1994 Leon the Professional. I guess at the time Bessaw was still trying to master his craft as a filmmaker, and though even if the pacing was a little contrived at times, the set pieces were still something quite noteworthy. Nikita's induction hit, the assassin mission in Italy, plus every scene featuring the cleaner are primary examples of just how dynamic Luc Bessaw's direction really is. The Cleaner is actually one of the coolest characters in the movie and make no mistake about it, he was truly the inspiration to the character Wolf from Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction who was played by Harvey Keitel. After Keitel actually played the Cleaner in the 1993 Nikita remake which was called The Point of No Return which starred Bridget Fonda as the character Nikita. In Leon the Professional it is also believed that Leon is the distant cousin to Jean Reno's The Cleaner and a, no wor and, an, and a worthy note to point out Jean Reno seems to appear in almost every movie that Luc Besson directs. The movie itself, of course, spawned many remakes and imitators over the past couple of decades. John Badham directed a pretty decent remake titled The Point of No Return with Bridget Fonda playing Nikita, whose name has changed to Maggie. In Canada, John Surnow directed a TV series which starred Petta Wilson as the lead character and the show actually lasted for five seasons and Warner Brothers and the CW distributed a TV series starring Maggie Q in the role of Nikita as they kind of made her you know defect it from her employment from the agency and is now on a secret mission to bring them down. The movie here was definitely quite stimulating Bezos' direction was well executed, but the performances were quite memorable. Pari Lowe uh, actually won a Caesar for her performance, and Cario was also quite convincing as Bob, but the main weakness here was that the finale was too hurried, and it might leave one demanding for a sequel. Otherwise, if they didn't spawn a sequel, or it would end up being kind of a bit of a letdown. I just thought the ending was too rushed. It really definitely needed a sequel. Overall, I recommend this film with the exception of a poorly hurried finale that was otherwise very anticlimactic. But the action and the performances are truly one you'll likely treasure. For those who love action fans and girls with guns, well, you're truly in for a real treat. And I think this movie also has a bit of a coming of age theme to it, you know. Like, you know, there's always a good ch time to rectify from your mistakes. And
and uh, everybody of course deserves a second chance here we see Nikita who is like on her road to being uh, incarcerated for life but she was sort of given a second lease in life to just change her entire ways and to work as an assassin otherwise you may as well just be better off dead if I was to give this movie a score out of 10 I would definitely give it an 8 the only two drops like I said was the hurried finale maybe I'll give it an 8.5 just to be generous uh, but uh, you know the movie was very stylistic and the performances were truly engaging this was not a mindless action film even though yes I am very partial to action films and their excitement there is a lot of great character development to to the characters um, the romantic chemistry between Anne Parello and Jean Hughes Anglade were also uh, quite convincing and I apologize if I didn't pronounce any of their names right but uh, so I hope that I don't get any kind of backlash if I missed pronounced any of their names if I did I sincerely apologize but otherwise you know I would recommend people to go see this movie rented on DVD and if you like this movie you'll probably like Luc Besson's other um, masterful films if I was to choose another one in line to add to your collection definitely Leon the Professional which I would love to do a review in the near future well I guess this kind of ends my writer review thank you all for listening in remember uh, be kind be courteous and if please subscribe to my channel if you wish and uh, you know you can write comments back to me I want no rudeness okay please try not to be rude to me I don't appreciate rudeness there's no room here for rudeness if you got nothing nice to say about me don't say anything at all but if you're gonna come to my channel please be respectful and uh, you know I not only just want to do a review on my own I'm going to go and venture off into other people's channels just to hear their opinions too because I want to hear from them I may also want to try and gain some inspiration for other from from other fellow youtubers uh, you know and I'm not you know trespassing or anything like that I just want to have fun and I like to talk about movies you know I'm a hardcore movie fan so uh, I hope you understand one of the motives as to why I go on to other people's channels and you know I would respect their opinions even if I don't always 100% agree with what everybody says I still you know I wouldn't I wouldn't belittle anybody and I kinda hope that you all do the same so until then uh, this is Eric Rutt Ryder saying keep watching those movies and I'll see you around um, and I'll be back again with another movie review take care everyone goodbye